Hello, it's Pastor Steve, bringing you a daily blessing, even though it's not every day. Um, praise God. There's so many things that are happening in our lives, and I'm sure uh, in yours as well. We all have different obstacles, different battles, and uh, as a child of God, he's raised us up as kings and priests unto our God, and he's also given us many scriptures about putting on the full armor of God, and uh, marching forward, having done all to stand, continue to stand fast and see the salvation of the Lord. So God's going to do some mighty things. I know that. I'm full uh, aware of that, that he has some wonderful things in store for his children, his army. Ezekiel, <clears throat> Ezekiel saw a prophecy uh, in the Bible. He saw a vision about God raising up an army. And they were just dead bones at that time. And that's what I believe. I heard that even as a young Christian, there's, the, there's an army that's rising. And uh, God is speaking life into those bones. And he's going to uh, restore you back into that rightful place uh, in his presence where you can feel the authority and the power of God. So I encourage you, you know, wherever you are in your walk with the Lord, there's a war cry that's going out. And God wants you to respond and just take your rightful place. Don't let the devil beat you up. Amen. You have been given dominion over him and over everything in the earth. So take your rightful place. I'm going to bless you with this song. Amen. army of God. Bishop Ebenezer Safa was here from Ghana, Africa, and he talked about taking that place. God has prepared a place for you. And he, he gave the analogy of a carpet, a piece of carpet. And that carpet was measured and designed to take its rightful place in the position that God's planned for. So don't let anything keep you from being in the position that God ordained for you to be in. If that means you got to change your job, change your career, if it means you got to change your friends, whatever you need to do to be in the place and the position that God has prepared for you, because that's the place where you'll find power and authority and freedom. So uh, I'm going to just speak and pray a blessing over you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each person, each person, God, that'll hear even this uh, recording. Father, that the anointing of God will come over them. They will find the peace and the safety. They will hear with clarity 
the very voice of God, the very direction of God. I break every attack of the enemy over them in the name of Jesus. There'll be no bondage, no shackles, no chains. That there'll be freedom because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And greater is He that's in you than he that's in the world. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of His Christ is in you. And that has given you the power and the authority that you can rise up, take your rightful place, no compromise, and you can walk before the presence of the Lord. Amen. Love you. Bless you. Have a great day uh, in Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.